So this is an unboxing video for my new isopods. This is the Amadillium Macalatum Zebra, which are really cute. They need less humidity, um, but that doesn't mean they should be dry, though a lot of people think that's the case. Let's see if we can see some. They're kind of buried. Oh, there we go. They're really cute. They're little zebras. Let's see if that'll show up. It probably won't. But it's really cute. Such an adorable little one. These are one of the most popular ones because they're really cute. And they stand out really nicely. Um, this family is also the one of the ones that is most commonly outside. Um, although you don't usually see zebras, but you never know. So this is Porcilio Scaber Calico, which are really adorable. They come in multi-patterns, like Calico Cats. Can you see those? Look how adorable that one is. That's a pretty big one, too. I wasn't sure if he'd send me babies or what. It's, it's pretty big. But they come in a huge variety of colors and stuff. And they work really great for people that want to breed their own isopods colors. Because you could select out certain shades. You know, like more red or stuff like that. So this is Porcelio Lavis Orange, which is sometimes called Giant Orange, though they're not that big. They're one of the most popular ones. And I really like orange colored isopods. Let's see. Oh, look how cute they are. I just really like the color. I think they look nice. So you got to be careful with the Porcelio Lavis especially because there are rumors that they eat things like dart frogs. Yes, Monty, you don't need the help. Cat off the table. Cat off the table. Come on. Come. Really? Really? Dork. Yeah. Somebody wants to be involved. But it's Monty. Monty always wants to be involved. So this is Porcelio Scaber Lotto Mix. Which I wasn't going to get. Because really it's just random colors. People make their own Lotto Mixes sometimes. By just throwing whatever extras they have in. But then I thought. Hey if I want to mix up some cool looking ones. A huge variety might be nice. So let's see. Yeah, man, I know you're in there. Oh, well, there's an orange one, which you probably can't see, because he's kind of running away really quick. Got to be careful I don't let anybody out. Oh, there's a really white one, which the camera is not going to pick up. I'll shoot more of these guys later when I put them in their containers so you can see close up and I don't have to worry about them getting loose. And these are dairy cow, Porcelio Levis dairy cow, which I know I'm not pronouncing those things right, but I'll put the real name on the screen because. I kind of suck at speaking any language. So dairy cows are one of the most popular ones. And there's a reason. It's because they're outgoing. They're pretty awesome looking. They look like dairy cows.
they each have individual different spots, which makes them pretty cool. But again, you gotta be careful because they've been known to eat things like dart frogs or tarantulas when they molt. So, they aren't the best. Hey, get back in there. They aren't the best one for being a cleanup crew. Which is what I got these for, but really, I'm probably not sure which one I'll put in. Because this is Porcelio Leave, or Porcelio Delatus. De that's not how you pronounce that. Something like that. They're the Giant Canyon. Which are the ones I was most looking forward to. Because they get pretty big. Not the biggest, but they get really big. And they're orangish sometimes. Sometimes they're gray. But they're pretty shy, so that'll kind of suck. But... There's one. There they are. They're pretty cool looking. They're really they're plain, but I like the size. I like bigger isopods. So those are the ones I got today. He's also got a couple other types, so I'll probably order more in the future. But let's get these set up. <laughs> 